Southern Wind 96 full carbon luxury super yacht and this is thanks to you guys for everybody that hits that like and subscribe button if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be able to do this Okay, starting at the bow, you have a full integral bowsprit in built furlers. And this is the main Genoa. Um, they're all hydraulic electric furlers. There is a specific reason why they've got it set like this. So you can attach your code D just over a meter 20 further ahead, all the way to the tip of your bowsprit or have your spinnaker set so that these boats are adaptable for speed and comfortable cruising they're pretty much fully custom inside here so obviously forward you have the genoa and you have your jib cleats are titanium all the stanchions are titanium for strength and also their main benefit is to actually reduce weight on the boat but the locker opens and the actual anchor windlass is on a hydraulic system one keeping the weight in the boat gives a sleeker look and when you need to use it it folds out and comes over and that gives you that adaptable bowsprit for the use and configuration of sails viewers aren't actually subscribers and yet you're returning viewers to our, our channel so you obviously like what we do if you want us to get to bigger boats to be able to do more sea trials we could really do with you hitting that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything it takes a few seconds but it makes a massive difference to us on this channel and the more subscribers we get the more views we get the more opportunities we're going to be able to have to go out on sea trials test different boats and just bring you more and better content so please consider subscribing Hit that like button. I don't know if you can see how the hull has a beautiful curve and she sweeps all the way back. This is twin rudder, twin engined. As I say, the mechanical specs will be coming up shortly. You have a large lazarette um, for all your bits and pieces, fenders, and access into a forward cabin. You'll see that in a little while. You'll see that all the winch controls all over have these little clips. The hull is fully carbon, will come R. One thing to note, there is a huge double lazarette on the main forward deck here. It's about half a meter deep, so all your spare sails, spinnaker, um, all your code sails, spare genoa, everything is actually kept in this storage space keeping it out of living space and crew quarters which is absolutely brilliant full carbon mast hydraulic fang and it actually goes into a full winged carbon boom three spreader three spreader carbon mast and obviously you have all your hydraulic tensioners for all your halyards and sheets. And you have, before we get into that, I'll show you a nice little bit of kit. You have full carbon rigging as well. These are pretty much custom boats. This boat was the owner had asked for a more sporty look um, for the cabin top. 
central there's actually a huge skyline when we get further back into the cockpit i will go into that but for your jib and genoa track obviously full carbon self-tailing electric winches but you have lateral and horizontal abilities to adjust and trim your sail so if you're racing or you want to get it absolutely perfect you have the ability to trim the sails as much or as little as you wish giving you full control of this magnificent vessel there's your repeaters forward on the mast the hull's infused so you have your infused carbon carbon exterior skin I can't tell you how wide the walkway down along the side is. Specifically for this owner, Southern Yachts designed a hard cover. You can see it's got soft sun protection cover on it too. Normally, obviously, your hard top's a little bit higher depending on what you want on specs and this would actually fold forward. This can be removed if the owner wishes or the crew wishes, crew wishes if they're racing but it was something specifically designed and obviously normally there is a dodger you'll see down here there's a point here and a point along here and here so you can put carbon poles for a dodger for the hull as i was saying you have infused resin as carbon exterior then i'm going to come all the way back to the helm positions easy step over you have a nice seat aft the whole transom lowers obviously hydraulically and there is a huge um, williams tender um, in the dinghy garage and there is plenty of room both this lazarette and these two side la uh, lazarettes open up and also give you direct access to steering plenty of room for toys diving compressor as i was saying forward as you can see all your winch touch bottom come a bit further forward all your winch buttons are here and you have foot controls they're full carbon self tailing electric winches like some yachts the larger would have captive winches on this particular design they actually opened up the aft deck um, so the helms are actually on full beam so maximizing the full beam of the yacht to give the guys the crew and the skipper some space you'll see that these pedestals have everything your skipper needs so you have a full garmin chart plotter bng autopilot and repeater they also have your technical screen so you can see where your how your water tanks are doing batteries diesel etc and throttle controls and bow and stern thruster all your on and off switches obviously as you can see autopilot so you can switch from one helm over to the other and you have all the hydraulic controls self-explanatory you can see backstay vang um, code zero further jib stay cell and main in and out we'll go on to the main cell track but just sitting on the edge you have a brilliant view forward there's also access to the hydraulics for the winch forward and we'll come over to the starboard helm over here once again everything's repeated so you have a larger screen for your systems here and you can switch obviously from port and starboard depending on where you're helming or maneuvering the boat from and then down here you have all your light switches um, motor a load of technical stuff coming up because the hybrid style of this motor is very very technical there'll be a load of stuff coming across your screen in a minute when we look at the technical department okay your main sheet track is built in beautifully into the deck it's a captive system and they've brought it all the way aft onto the boom as you guys know i'm a big fan of it gives you more downforce and control of your mainsail this is fitted with a square top main giving you better performance and speed It'll just give you an idea of the size of these winches they are absolutely huge this is my hand 
beautiful, beautiful boat. There is separate access just forward here to the crew's quarters, keeping crew quarters and owner's quarters separate so they can come up and do what they need to do on deck without interfering with guests or owners. You have two sun lounges, port and starboard, and a large folding dining table. So this will fold all the way out. Something which I really like, which you don't see on yachts very often anymore, is the prism lights. Prism lights. The attention to detail and design on this boat is absolutely fantastic. I love modern design and when you start to look at the angles that have been created, you know, as some would say, just to hold up the table, are absolutely beautiful. And you have plenty of protection under this hard top spray hood. If you remember back in the day, we haven't been around a shipman yet. One of my favorite monohulls was the Shipman 80 and they had an electric control as this yacht does so that your companion way slides across and out of the way you'll note with this boat you have handholds everywhere it's not just a pleasure craft it's a racing boat it's a serious blue water boat I'm going to come down to one of the most beautiful yacht spaces I've seen in a long time give you a pano of the port side saloon all right we'll start over here start with the cam companion way fully molded infused carbon steps and carbon handrails you wouldn't expect anything different the carpentry the attention to details is fantastic and you have leather soft leather all the way around on the upholstery. As I said at the beginning, these are pretty much custom build yachts. So this has been done to the owner's specification. There is a lowering table here, so you can have it as a coffee table, or if you want to extend your seating area or have a big double lounger, there you can. The table folds out and inlay, and you see beautiful carbon effect inlay into the wood. And then over on the starboard side, the owner asked for an office space to be able to do his work. Once again, you know, even the stand for the table is made from carbon and it has a beautiful carbon inlay. And these tabletops can turn. So he has a lovely office working space which is absolutely beautiful and there is a chaise long which the wife asked for so she can be with her husband while he's working as you can see large storage area and these are milled aluminium so everything's seamless one of the things i like with the lighting down here and the way it's been done is it actually looks like the furniture is floating You'll see when we get into the owner's quarters that they've actually gone to the full width on this boat. The upholstery is all beautifully patterned. Once again, something that's been designed, stylized by the owner and has an African theme as they love Africa. It's details, when you come around this size it's just details of the way the wood has been inlaid into the interior mouldings. Into a lovely lounging cinema or library area. They have all these little touch lights, switches everywhere. And forward, you can see there's a, a reading light that can be pulled out. Who wouldn't want to be crew? or a friend to be able to go on a yacht like this. Lovely flat screen TV. Once again, there are, I'll point it out all over. There are handholds everywhere. This is an ocean going vessel. It's a kill step mast. This whole bulkhead area here, this one actually has the lifting kill. You'll see the technical bits coming across the screen. 
has a lifting keel so this whole section here which is hidden doesn't impede into the center of the boats like smaller yachts as you know with Garcia and so on so it's all nicely hidden out of the way all the technical services and obviously you can get access to it but it's hidden out of the way the owner's suite which is through there we'll have a look in the middle for the show is set up as a twin but the unit centrally here moves out the way and this bed actually slides over to make a large double all the walls are covered in beautiful soft material panels and obviously you have insulated panels one of the hard things with boats like this is to add as much comfort as possible but also to keep the boat as light as possible for when you're racing you know if your standard cruising speed is sort of 12 to 14 knots um, where most sailboats are sitting at six or seven and a half yachts um, you understand that even though they want to keep the weight down they also have to keep massive a very high level of comfort and ergonomics to the boat too this is your guest suite a darkened mirrored cupboards there and your own separate shower with a rain head shower privacy blinds and insect nettings and obviously it's an electric flush toilet and this yacht is fully air conditioned then we'll come forward into the owner's quarters where you have a dressing area wardrobe i won't open all the drawers privacy well obviously all self-closing and the cupboards to keep the weight down so it's a solid infused veneer with honeycomb paper in the middle so they're super strong but very very light and functional once again keeping the weight of the boat down but keeping the aesthetics and the carpentry up let me know in the comments below what you think and we'll come through into this full beam forward over owner's cabin large queen size bed once again carbon handholds beautiful choice of materials and art And it's forward here that you'll be able to see i'll come down here where you can see this is the outer hull so you've got that full full depth uh, and this will be the inner hull carbon skin so it's molded in and out smooth it gives you the idea once again that all your furniture is floating and then they exploit as much of that extra space as possible nice leather hinges and this is all covered in material too so it's all nice and soft absolutely spectacular boat don't forget like and subscribe because if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't be able to do this we wouldn't be able to come around boats like this and here we go for the owners ensuite plenty of space electric flush toilet I, I, it's silly little bits that I like but you know there's your flush switches you probably think I'm daft but there's plenty of storage space and a huge once again giant rain head shower and thermostatic controlled shower here to come out here just give you a pan out absolutely beautiful if they wish they can have access out through here so nobody's disturbed through the saloon this ladder actually you can see the slide out runners pulls out and then through this sealed hatch here or use it as an escape hatch if you wish before we get into the crew quarters just yeah. after the companionway there is a 
Another guest birth. Once again, this is set up as large twins, but the bed can be moved into a double. Beautifully set out. And obviously, you have your own ensuite electric flush. I quite like the styling of the toilets. Heated towel rails and obviously your own separate shower. To give you an idea of head height in these cabins, I'm five foot eight and I can only just, only just touch the ceiling. So you've probably got two and a half meters. We have a fully fitted commercial kitchen. This kitchen was probably as good as our kitchen in our restaurant that we had before we closed down at, um, well, Corona, good old coronavirus. Nice separate bathroom, electric flush, fresh water toilet. <laughs> no salt water smells for the crew, which is lovely. And they have a separate shower, so there's no wet heads either, which is absolutely fantastic. Guys have access out of here. This is that hatch we saw up in the cockpit earlier so they can stay completely separate from owners and guests. And here is one of the bunk rooms. Either have Pullman berth if you're on your own or double bunk. And I'll show you the depth of these mattresses. I'm gonna move in. Plenty of room for all their gear and another separate toilet. Once again, electric fresh water flush. And this, it appears to resistance, is the skipper's workstation. Garmin, Garmin chart plotter. They also have it set up computerized so they can go through all, I won't show you too much what's going on there. So they can go through all their details, obviously keyboard got all your wind instruments, repeaters, autopilot. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. They don't have to move from here and they can monitor the entire boat from here. All the systems, all the batteries, AIS, absolutely everything with nick the skipper of this magnificent boat and i think hopefully he can answer some of your questions some of the technical questions about the hybrid drive and what it's like as life as a skipper on such a magnificent boat no two days are the same um, whether it's kind of going from delivery mode into yard mode into some potential racing uh, into uh, long deliveries short deliveries yeah, that's kind of something which is quite uh, quite fun. Is that it's it's always changing. Um, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of time and energy, uh, but ultimately it's it's fantastic, especially with a project like this, um, with such new technology on board. It's great to kind of keep learning and keep developing kind of as crew. So that's yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, I understand that there's a, a hybrid propulsion system on this boat that's able to self charge as your Cruising along, so great. Yeah, absolutely. So rather than a traditional diesel engine, um, we have a, an electric traction motor um, and a variable pitch propeller, and that's powered by two diesel generators. Uh, and alongside that, we have the ability to regenerate when we're sailing along. So when we're sailing, the blades of the propeller can pitch themselves, turn the prop shafts, and then we can regenerate and charge the batteries through that. So that's a, a pretty, uh, pretty cool piece of tech, which we are uh, kind of enjoying exploring, let's yeah. say. Yeah, so it helps bring down the, the cost of diesel, makes the boat a little bit more environmentally friendly. Yeah, then. absolutely, yeah. No, it's, it's really kind of satisfying to be sailing along and charging the batteries. Uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. And managing a, a yacht uh, of this size, I take it, it, it you have a substantial crew or? Yeah, yeah, so always, well the boat's designed for four crew, um, but that can range from that four to seven or eight on delivery uh, to 20 if you want to race the boat uh, and push it hard, 
uh, depending on, on what the kind of owners are keen on doing really. Yeah. This is thanks to you guys for everybody that hits that like and subscribe button. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do this.